All right, everybody, today is the day that I ask you to sit up and play. And we're going to take this all the way into Wednesday. So don't try, you don't have to finish this up today. You can work on this on Wednesday also uh, and turn in your results then that we can then celebrate thereafter. We're going to play a game. So let's talk about this game. Okay, here is the game, and it is a chemi plant design game. And we are going to use steam reformation of methane to make carbon monoxide and hydrogen as the basis of our game. That's why we keep coming back to this example. Uh, this is a really handy way used in many uh, chemical industries when we need hydrogen and a little bit of CO, but mostly hydrogen is what we're after here um, for other uses around the plant. Because quite often we want to blast something with high temperature, high, uh, uh, high temperature, high pressure hydrogen and break some double bonds, for example, make some uh, new shorter chain chemicals. There's all sorts of useful things we could do with hydrogen. Heck, we could even use hydrogen to power a fuel cell if we wanted to. So how are we going to play this game? Here is the idea. Rule one is that you have 500 moles of raw material feed, and you get to pick within certain limits what's in that 500 moles, but it's always got to be 500 moles, and that's what's going to allow us to compare results from one of us to another one of us. Two, because I want you to be able to change the temperature at which this reaction happens. Remember, at 298, doesn't really tend to do what we want. Um, I want you to use the kcalc spreadsheet uh, in order to change and modify the temperature of this reaction to get to be something you are uh, interested in using. And also, I want you to set up your own spreadsheet, ideally the one you've been working with all along, but you're going to probably tweak it a little bit so that you can choose temperature. Now, as you choose temperature, remember that's going to change your Ka, so you'll need the K from kcalc. Uh, in there, but you'll also need the T that you've chosen. You're going to choose your own pressure. Doesn't have to be one bar. And as I mentioned already, you are going to choose the feed moles of each uh, component within limits, such that all your initial moles add up to 500. And then you are going to determine for that particular set of conditions, what's C, and you're going to use that C to find what your mole fractions are, and you are going to use all of this, T, P, feed, wise, to figure out how much money you make. So that is a new one, and um, I'm going to show you the rules for that in a second. But what uh, is the case when you're doing design is you have some uh, products that you are interested in making, chemical products that you need to make. And there's lots of ways to make these chemical products usually. Uh, but we often have competing interests. So for example, the reaction may be one that uh, proceeds more fully to completion as the temperature goes up, as is the case with this reaction. Um, and the reaction may, uh, will almost undoubtedly go faster as the temperature goes up. So that's good too. So you're like, why don't we just run this temp this thing at 10,000 degrees or the temperature of the interior of the sun? And well, you don't do that because there are material considerations, right? Like the whatever it is you're going to build your reactors and pipes, et cetera, out of, um, they need to be able to withstand that temperature. Also, you have to pay money for something that heats all this stuff up. Like maybe you are burning some of that methane you bought in order to uh, make the energy that runs your heat exchangers and keeps your reactor hot. Okay, so that costs a lot of money too. And so you don't actually always run it at the temperature you might think would be the best choice because that costs too much, even though that would give you a better outcome in terms of the products. There are competing things uh, that are happening here. And so how in this what I'm calling a design game, how we deal with that is we run everything through the balancing force of money. Uh, as you change the temperature, it costs different amounts to run your reactor. As you change the pressure, same thing. You have to buy your feedstocks, and some feedstocks are pretty cheap, like water and air, and other feedstocks cost more, such as 
really high quality methane. And then um, you're going to be able to sell your products, but your products uh, can um, be sold for more money or less money depending on their purity and their quality. So we've I've in, uh, captured that on the next slides showing you about how the sales price changes based on what your mole fractions uh, are coming out. So let me take you through this. And oh, big time, you're going to want to go down to the bottom of the Moodle page and download the PDF of this, because uh, otherwise you're going to have to be hitting freeze frame a lot to see what these costs and benefits are. OK, so already you probably in your spreadsheet have T and P and N0. Then you're going to have to put into your spreadsheet some way that all of those plus your outcome wise are linked to the money. Let's uh, take a look more closely at the money. So here are your possible raw materials. You can have the cheap natural gas or the expensive natural gas. You can have air. I'm not sure why you want air, but you can have air. And you can have steam, which, as you will recall, is 100% water. And so what happens here? So for every one mole of this stuff you buy, it's going to contain these as shown. Oh, look, some inerts. You're going to have to cope with that. Um, and uh, you will have to pay. So in this case, you pay. So put it in as a negative one. One dollar for every mole of that. All right. Whereas the high quality, you pay two mole, two dollars for every mole of that. And for your uh, steam, it's five cents a mole. By the way, these are all kind of uh, numbers that I have balanced that are semi kind of vaguely representative of reality, but this is not what this actually costs. This is a cost that makes sense within the space of our game. And remember, you only get 500 moles of feed, so you can choose to buy the low quality natural gas and some steam, or you can buy the high quality and some steam, or you could mix it all up, up to you. And you can change this as you go, as you are trying to optimize, all right? So you wanna set this up flexibly. Now let's uh, look at the process costs. All right, process costs and sales income. So every time you wanna change the pressure, higher or lower, uh, by 0.05 bar from atmospheric, uh, it costs you two bucks. So it's not per mole, it just costs you two bucks to do that. Uh, your temperature, let's say we're gonna assume 298K is basically 300K just to keep this uh, math easy here. Uh, so for every 50 degrees, you bring the temperature up, and I'm going to assume you don't want to bring the temperature down because that's the wrong direction. Uh, so for every 50 degrees, you bring the temperature up, it costs you eight bucks. Does that make sense? Uh, and again, that's not per mole. It's just sort of overall. And then once you've hit 790K, it costs more because we have different materials costs in addition to the heating costs. Uh, so it costs you uh, even more, five bucks for every 10 degrees. Okay. Uh, so you want to set that up in your spreadsheet. Ideally, you set it up a little bit as equations so you don't have to tweak it too much, but you can do it all by hand if you like. And now here is how you make money down here with the income. So you want to look at your uh, mole fractions at the end of the reaction. What is coming out there? And then how many moles of that product do you have at this mole fraction? So if your uh, your outlet stream is between 0.05 and 0.1 mole fraction hydrogen, you get to sell it for 10 cents a mole. All right, you understand how to read this? So hydrogen is our most valuable product here. So you can see that as there is more hydrogen in the outlet stream, you can sell it for more money. And you might think to yourself like, why does it work like that? Well, it works like that because the most expensive part of any plant, uh, any engineer will tell you, is the separations <laughs> excuse me usually reactions that's fine but getting stuff to the purity you need to be able to use it for whatever it is you're selling it for um, that costs um, a lot of money takes a lot of effort and so if we can sell something that is much uh, more pure hydrogen uh, we can get a lot uh, more money for it because uh, there's less separation steps 
Um, so the CO, uh, if you've got it at this kind of moderate concentration, you can sell it for five cents. If you've got too much CO, um, it costs you money because it's, it's a hazardous chemical. Um, so there you go. That's overall the rules. So remember, you have 500 moles of, pro of starting material uh, composed of things from the last slide. Uh, you can set the temperature and the pressure uh, according to these costs up here, and then you make money according to this. And what I want you to do is optimize. And those of you who have taken a class in optimization, you can go ahead and apply what you know from there. Those of you who are winging it, go ahead and wing it. Um, try different temperatures and pressures and realize you have competing factors here, right? Changing the pressure and changing the temperature cost you money, but will allow you to make more product. Buying higher purity methane to begin with will let you make more product, but it also costs more. So what is the set of conditions and feeds that lets you take 500 moles of feed and turn it into the largest profit. So I want you to play with it. Don't spend too long, like, sorry, let me rephrase that. Um, normally we'd be doing this in class. So you'd come in and you'd have this set up and you'd spend, oh, about half an hour changing different numbers, tweaking, playing with it, trying to get the most money. And everyone in the room would kind of shout out where they were at and we'd be able to compete against each other. We're still gonna be able to compete against each other, but uh, we're going to do it in a slightly different way. So uh, if you could, by say, um, you know, quote unquote, Wednesday class time. So we'll call it uh, any time Wednesday or even parts uh, or even all the way through Thursday this week, post to the discussion board in Moodle how much money you made or lost or both kind of as you go and you can repost and, and tell me what you get. Um, and then turn in a copy of your spreadsheet. Just turn in whatever it is you've got. I don't need KCalc. I just need your thing. Um, and there will be a fabulous prize and we will, uh, wave flags and cheer for whoever it is who makes the most money or in the case of a tie, whoever claims the most money first and that their spreadsheet, when I look at it, bears it out. I made some tweaks in this from how I ran this last time. So uh, last time, I think the most money anyone in the class made was $13, uh, but they were uh, at a different feed uh, situation than you are. So I'm not sure that $13 is gonna be possible. $13 may be low, $13 may be high. We will find out when you share what you've got. And as I said, fabulous prize, so look forward to it.